Yo guys, Features Gaming here, welcome back to another video here on the channel and today we are back on Roblox playing Croydon and I think this is actually the first ever video that I've actually done on Croydon. I can't actually think of another time that I actually did a video on Croydon but I have uh, done videos or I've done, I've played Croydon on stream so I'm going to go ahead and do a video on it today. So I want to try and do one of the Croydon Plus routes, the one that I always do to get like points and stuff but the thing is is that for that i'm going to need croydon plus and apparently mine's going to expire in nine days actually so i actually already have it and i didn't actually think i did so that is good though well, that is a good thing i already have it so i need to go to i think it's pack buses i do believe and then london transport so I actually need to do it with a bendy bus, but I can't think if I had a, another bus. I think I had the Spirit of London one, and I don't think I had any of the others. So I usually do it in the bendy bus, but I'm actually going to do it in this one, I think. Um, I did not actually mean to purchase that bus. Wait, was that this one? Wait, no. Okay, I, I have no idea what's going on. Right, spawn. And I think we need to spawn at Beddington, I do believe. And yeah, I just need to think how I get back there. So I'm going to go free roam for now because I uh, know where I need to go. And yeah, this is the right one. I just remembered where I actually need to go. Uh, can I actually go though? Uh, maybe I need to go forward. There we go. Make sure that we take a wide swing and don't hit the rear of the bus. There we go. And yeah, as I said, I think I know where I need to go. Um, I just hope that I don't get it wrong. So let's just get over there right now. Is my sound on, by the way? I don't even think my sound's on. No, it isn't. There we go. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Uh, I'll turn it up, sorry. And uh, let's get over to the uh, to where we need to go. So obviously, we're going to make sure that we're going to drive on the left-hand side of the road as that is the, uh, or that's, you know, we're in Croydon, which is, you know, south of London. So we need to... Uh, make sure that we are driving on the left hand side of the road or as much as we can because it's not really the easiest to uh, control the bus is it so uh let's get going it's not this one i don't wait is it it might be this one it's that one i've already missed the turning <laughs> reverse it back up come on and let's go ahead and turn in here all right go forward come on we can make that, we can make that, we can make that, we can make that. Yep, there we go. And let's go over here, over the speed bumps. Always fun to go over there, you know, over those in the bus. <laughs> especially, you know, when you're in, uh, you know, especially where I live, you know, they literally hurtle it over the speed bumps. You know, it's literally a roller coaster to go on the bus, you know, to go on, you know, to go on the buses where I am. It's so fun. <laughs> but anyway, um, well, that was, you know, years ago when I used to go on buses. I barely go on them now. Um, or I haven't really been on any other sort of, you know, public transport, you know, since the pandemic, really. Uh, and I believe we need to turn left here. Um, and then we'll reach the roundabout. And then we need to go second exit down there. And then that should be where we start our, uh, where, where we start our route. So let's go ahead and go around here. I think one of the other depots is up there, I think. I think. Um, and that's where I kind of, like, know when to, like, go to, like, this one. This is the only depot I know, basically. I don't really know any of the others. So let's go ahead and click to start. And it is the TR3 one, which is 15 minutes. Apparently the uh, the Easter update is still actually here on Croydon. Um, and yeah, you get a lot of people that have an egg on their head. <laughs> and you get a lot of passengers here as well. Uh, even when it's not on rush hour, you get a lot of passengers, which is insanely, you know... Which just makes it better for grinding, really. You know, I just got 30 points from uh, from that um, from that uh, stop, which is yeah, which is quite a lot. Uh, I'm not even doing this in rush hour. In rush hour, it's about half ten in the morning when I'm recording this. So um, yeah, um, it's not rush hour just yet. I don't know if this route really is affected when it's rush hour. Like, I don't know if you get like a whole lot more people. I haven't really tested that out like too much. So do let me know in the comments. I'm pretty sure one of my uh, one of my subscribers will know uh, if it is affected, but I can't actually remember. And the reason how they are just able to get on and me not having to serve them is because I've got the speedy boarding game pass thing, which basically allows them to just get on the bus. Really, um, they still, you know, like obviously you do the paying and things like that, 
Um, it's kind of like the, you know, all of, all of the passengers have like an Oyster card for some, you know, for example, they scan that and then they get on. They don't actually have to like speak to the driver. So um, yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty good. It just allows me to just drive the route and is a lot more quicker as well because I can just drive, open the doors, close the doors, and get going. I don't need to, you know, bother about sorting out the passengers and things like that. I can literally just drive the route, which you know it just it just makes it easier for uh, for driving. It's kind of like driving the tram basically. I don't I'm not caring about traffic lights, guys. So if I am, you know running red lights i don't really care about them barely anyone you know obeys traffic laws really in, in croydon you know i see people driving on the wrong side of the road you know going insanely fast and things like that so yeah um i just don't really bother myself to be honest so uh yeah that is why but so now we have finished loading up there so let's get going now uh, we need to go to the right here even though the arrow is telling us to go left but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna follow the green arrows. <laughs> I don't really like I, I don't really know this know this route off by heart. I'm still trying to learn it. I kind of know the basics of where I'm going, but like I don't fully know like this route off the back of my hand. Like if I didn't have this green arrow, all of these green arrows, I probably wouldn't know where I'm where I'm supposed to go. I only know where to go to the terminus because I've done it so many times. I haven't really done the route without the green arrows. I could probably try and learn it, but I'm not too familiar with uh, the map uh, of this game because I, I always just use, you know, navigational things in the game. I don't really, you know, I don't really play games without like a navigation or something like that. Unless it's like, you know, Euro Truck or something like that. I mean, even then, you know, I still play with the navigation to some extent, but like I don't play it. I don't play it with like an on-screen navigation unless the, you know, truck in the game has a has an inbuilt sat nav or something like that um you know train sim i mean the route on that you know the route on those are just automatic you know they always you know they automatically change the switches and things like that so um yeah um f1 i kind of need it to like show where i need to start braking and things like that so um yeah it's i i am more of a casual player i don't really like play this you know play these hardcore like know exactly where I'm supposed to go with a map and things like that. I just literally just chill out and drive. So yeah, that 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 is uh that is why I don't play games without sat navs and things like that. But let's go ahead and start breaking and get around there. There we go. That's I always hate that one. You know, when you're going down, you know, even though you're breaking, you you the brakes just are non-existent when you're going down that hill. It honestly, it's it's so tricky all right so let's turn a right here there we go we'll hop over the speed bump there we go and uh we'll go around to the left here i think this is when we turn left uh, turn right as well yeah we go across the uh across all, all of the lanes and to the right here so i think after this i don't really know where i'm going from now on like i don't fully know where i'm going that is not where I was supposed to go. <laughs> I just drove into a into a um into some uh, traffic lights. That is not the way I'm supposed to be going. So uh, let's go ahead and pull into here, which is our which is another bus stop. So let's go stop, activate the doors. There we go. And we were already you know up to about I think uh, we've earned about 200 points um this this route so far, which. As you can tell, you know, probably gives you a lot of credit. So, uh, yeah, it's a pretty easy, you know, it is a pretty easy um, grinding route, this one. You know, obviously, the only issue is, is that you do have to purchase Croydon Plus with the uh, with uh, Robux. But after you get it, you can get a lot of credit. So, in a way, it's better than just purchasing loads of Robux, you know, or purchasing in-game you know credits with robux it is just i think it would be easier you know just to buy a croydon plus and then do this route a couple times i think you will earn your money back pretty quickly but i mean again it just depends how you know how much you play it for me i've just purchased croydon plus because that just allows me to get a few more routes um and just because i can really um i don't really play this game all the time uh, i really only play this on streams and things like that if there's like an update where I'm trying to like grind some stuff, then I probably would do it. Um, oh, I'm supposed to go in there. Something like the uh, something like the Easter update. Um, I don't really, 
um i don't really want to play like all the time but yeah i sometimes do play this like say for example the 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 christmas update i kind of like try to get that i didn't complete it but i tried to uh get as much done as i could so yeah let's now go ahead and enter croydon um or this one so there we go and we'll go ahead and stop it here there we go you usually get a lot of passengers here so yeah but with speedy boarding it's you know we can get there you know we can get there pretty quickly there's some music playing somewhere <laughs> i don't know who's playing it i have a feeling it might be that bus but i'm not too sure but i'm literally just hearing that jingle hold on that bus is actually not oh it is it's not in service though anyway let's go ahead and continue our journey so um yeah as i said i think from now on i don't really know where i'm going so this is where i just follow the uh the green arrows now so let's go over here it's just so weird to see loads of eggs just popping out the side of the bus <laughs> It's just so weird. All right, where is the next bus stop? I don't actually know where it is. No, I don't want to leave the vehicle. I didn't, I didn't mean to click space bar. It's just because my thumb's resting near there. So sometimes it does accidentally trigger. It's not supposed to. Right, I think the next station is literally over this hill and I think it's like the, the, the normal bus station. So um, yeah, I think I know this one as well. But I couldn't remember where, where I was going to. So we need to go into that lane. So, oh, this is going to be a bit tricky to get out. Oh, oh I, I've just remembered how tricky these are to uh, to get out. We need to really take a wide swing here. So let's go ahead and open the doors. So we'll allow the uh, passengers to board. I think there's probably actually more people here than there was at, uh, at the other bus station. So, um, yeah, that's going to, that, that was a... Uh, interesting so we'll go ahead and uh, close the doors and uh yeah let's uh see how we're going to tackle this so i might even go left slightly to then really take a wide swing i'm not going to make that am i nope all right let's reverse it slightly and then we'll keep going all right come on i just really need to get my you know this part you know over the pavement and then i can hopefully then swing it around okay I think I think we've got the momentum to uh, to get around here. Yeah, there we go. We've cleared it. Awesome. Yeah, just take a wide swing and uh, you're done basically. Yes, we did have to reverse slightly because there was a lamp post there, but even then, you know, without that lamp post, we you know we we probably still would have been in a spot of uh, a spot of trouble there. But uh, now we can continue going on our route. And again, I literally don't know where I'm going. I'm driving blind right now. Okay, we are approaching the next bus stop. So let's go ahead and start braking. Uh, another thing as well, I'm not bothering with indicators either. <laughs> I literally don't really want to bother. I'm not even going to be doing like the key binds to like put the parking brake on one, two thing. I just find it easier to just click the buttons really. I find it quicker to be honest i mean if, if you like knew all of the key binds then it probably would be quicker to do all of the key binds but per personally i just like pressing the uh the icons um so yeah there's that house there with all of the uh graffiti on right i think i'm turning left somewhere but i'm not too sure this wasn't actually the left i was meaning so i guess i have some uh other stops that i need to go to first i actually nearly tipped over you know, turning to the left here. Oh, brake. Just got there in time. <laughs> I don't really want to be speeding into here, really. How many eggs are there? <laughs> this is crazy. I'm pretty sure, you know, like the Easter update would have been done by now because, you know, it's been a little bit of a while since Easter. But I guess for Croydon, they, uh, they, they, they've, they've kept the Easter update alive or something like that. Apparently, there's a daily challenges thing. There's supposed to be like a easter icon to like check your progress so some of it makes me kind of wonder if they have actually you know like done the easter update this is the left i was, I was thinking of yeah it kind of makes me wonder if they have like finished the easter update but the passengers still have eggs on their head which just seems weird <laughs> i don't know why they've kept it but um yeah th th there's no easter icon anymore all right we'll fly it down here over the speed bump see that that is what it's like you know i mean they don't crash into, you know they don't crash into the cars but they literally you know whip down the roads <laughs> even you know a road you know as narrow as this they just you know they just blast it down there 
All right. Well, let's start breaking now because I, I think when I did this last time, I got beached there. Like, I couldn't even, like, I couldn't remember where I was going. All right. Um, this is actually the end of the route, though. Apparently, that is what is, that, that is what had happened then. I was one stop away from finishing the route. I didn't actually know that this was the last route, but I guess that is at the end of the route. So as you can see, time taken, about 12 minutes, 12 stops, total passengers 196, um, 598 points awarded, and Roblox has crashed. Well, uh... That was interesting. Well, there you go. I have no idea why Roblox just crashed on me there. I don't know why. I was literally reading out the end of the thing and it just failed. So I don't know what was going on. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure to drop a like on it if you did enjoy it. Subscribe for more content as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. But until then, take care and peace out.